Newcastle United versus Liverpool, the match of the day, being played at the famous St. James's Park, one of the best grounds of the first division of the Football League. And thousands and thousands obviously agree that this really is the match of the day today. Uh, with Newcastle defending their unbeaten home record, they've gone 17 home matches without losing a game in sixth place of the table against Liverpool, who are back near the top once more in second place. Well, now, check on the two teams today. First, the Newcastle side. Newcastle at full, full strength. Uh, Jim Eilie, their captain number 10, uh, a bit doubtful during the week, but he's passed to fit this test as well. And being led at number nine by Wynne Davis, their expensive centre forward, uh, the man they bought from Bolton Wanderers, and one of the best headers of a ball in the Football League. An interesting contrast here uh, to compare Davis uh, with the man wearing number nine for Liverpool this afternoon, Tony Hately, who cost £100,000 when he was signed for Chelsea, and also one of the best headers in the Football League. Now, the Liverpool side shows a change because Ron Yates, their captain, passed a fitness test this morning and comes back to lead the team at number five in place of Jeff Strong, who's the substitute. Ron Yates comes back for a very difficult task today and uh, no wonder Bill Shanky was pleased this morning when he passed the test because remember, he's got the job of marking uh, Wynne Davis, the Newcastle centre forward. The referee for this match, one of the men on the World Cup list last year, George McCabe of Sheffield. And it's going to be Liverpool to kick off. There's a very difficult wind swirling around the pitch, and at the moment, uh, the wind is blowing right against them. Uh, but it's swirling all the time, so there's no kind of consistent advantage. It's Tommy Smith trying to find Thompson. Newcastle United, of course, once one of the great sides, enjoying one of their best seasons for a long, long time. It's nice to see them back near the top, as the North East, of course, really deserves to have a good side. Hughes onto Ian St. John. And the Liverpool boys just confuse themselves there. And getting an encouraging shout there from the crowd, although there aren't many Liverpool supporters among this Pax of, uh, people at this Pax St. James's Park. Gordon Marshall, Newcastle United goalkeeper. Yates. And it's Callaghan for Liverpool. On to St. John. It's Hatley. Smith. Good chip by Smith, but uh, McNamee right alongside Hately is going to close mark him all the time. That's Callaghan for Liverpool. Go to Liverpool. To Hunt. It's Lawler. Players, Tony Hakeley well offside, standing in an offside position. Yates, highly for Newcastle. Easily robbed by Hughes. Highly again. Highly the midfield player and captain of this side. Both teams just feeling their way now. Tommy Lawrence, the first time he's touched the ball. Now Bennett. Going to find Jim Scott, number seven for Newcastle, who's the brother of the more famous Alex Scott, who used to play for Everton. Now Yates for Liverpool to Hunt. Hunt's got Callaghan there, he's also got St John there. But it's Lawler now to St. John. Hunt again. Good ball by Hunt to Lawler. Nicely read, though, for Newcastle by Frank Carr. And there was a good one to win. That was to Bennett. On to Scott. Hughes to St. John. 
Oh, rather to Carrigan. Hunt. It's Byrne. Bad one by Jerry Byrne, though. Now, Jim Miley. To Robson. Robson not wasting any time at all, but it wasn't a very good ball. He was looking for Wynn Davis at the far post. And you will see a lot of those balls floating across to find Wynn Davis, uh, the centre forward, jumping at the far post. Thompson to Hunt. Thompson again, good running by Hunt, and he's in a dangerous position here. And the final ball is a good one. Clark, though, getting a second chance of rather luck in it. Field for a foul. The referee let it go. Smith now for Liverpool. A Robson for Newcastle. On to Eiley. He made a lot of ground there. Being fleeced by Yates. Jim Arley, the Newcastle captain, uh, looks uh, rather older. In fact, he's always looked older than he is. He's 32 now, but a very important lake man in this side. It's Moncari got up well to that. to get Davis away and the whistle's gone for offside. Five minutes gone and Newcastle remember parting under that 6-0 defeat they suffered uh, at Liverpool when the teams met earlier this season. So they're looking out for revenge here today. Burn with a kick for Liverpool. McNamee. Marshall prepared to steal every yard he can. And Thompson. Thompson, wonderful dribbler. To Byrne. Thompson, Hately. Back to Byrne. One curve, but... Uh, Bennett now for Newcastle. Bennett chopped down and it's a free kick now to Newcastle in the centre circle. Albert Bennett, the former Rotherham player. Robson leaving this for Jim Eiley. He's going back for a long one. for Davis. My word, that really was a long ball. There's a chance here for Newcastle. Bennett. Oh, he hit the post. And Liverpool looking a bit rocky at the back at the moment. And really a bit lucky to get away with that. An enormous throw by Jim Eiley, though. Found his way through to Bennett, and uh, Liverpool can't get much luckier than that. They really should be one down. Lawrence's ball all the way mistake he wasn't under pressure either he seemed to take his eye off the ball and some relief now for Liverpool with a goal kick Tommy Lawrence having with his hands there after that fumble he certainly took his eye off the ball. It was really a bit too easy for him because it was floating straight into his hands. Clark. Smith. Bennett on to Scott. This is dangerous again. Eilis in the middle. He really needed to get that back, and he should have done too. Now Burt to Scott. Peter Thompson working back there to help the defence. Uh, Davis up above the line, but it's Robson. Oh, that was going in. That was Tommy Smith getting his knee to that one. And that's got the goalkeeper beaten, and it might have crept in at the far post. Tommy Robson shaking his head, and he really got hold of that one. I don't think Smith, as he came back, really knew a great deal about it. He was just running across the line of the ball. So Robson with the corner. 
running into trouble. Eiling. Liverpool really not playing with any kind of poise at all at the back at the moment. Moncur. Well, Tommy Smith trying to bring some order into the side. To Thompson. Ten minutes gone and still no score. St. John. This is Haitley. Callaghan made a lot of ground. Good running by Callaghan. Let's look at the goalkeepers. These balls are a little bit awkward, though, because they're swinging in this awkward wind. Ian Callaghan. Certainly the Liverpool back line of four. That's Lawler, Byrne, Smith and Yates. Not looking all that secure in these opening stages. St. John now to Callaghan. Smith did well to get that ball. He just pushed it too far the first time. Well, Tommy Smith absolutely disgusted with that. But uh, keep an eye on Tommy Smith. He likes to have a pop from just outside the edge of the box. And you can expect to see one or two shots. And most of them will be better than that. Davis, being pleased by St. John and Yates there, but it, uh, neither won it cleanly. Bennett. And the referee's penalised by one of the Liverpool defenders there for an incident off the ball against Davis. Davis was complaining bitterly to him too, but anyway, the referee spotted it, so it's a free kick now to Newcastle in the centre circle. And Davis is clearly worrying Yates in the air because he really does climb to that ball. Ron Yates is six foot two and a half, and Davis is getting way above him. Again, this is the kind of a situation in which Moncair may well be looking for Davis. Then on to Hunt. St. John. Haitley. Haitley had his back there to the way the ball was played. He really wasn't in motion and he's complaining about it too. John. Hatley. Nice reverse ball that was. So St. John with the throw. So Thompson. Eiley quite rightly covering there behind, but there was a foul given against Clark. So it's a free kick now in a dangerous spot just outside the penalty area. And Liverpool have brought big young Ron Yates up uh, into the box, and Wynn Davis has come back to mark him. Thompson with a kick. And Smith! Well, I tell you, couldn't be looking for shots for Tommy Smith, and that's the kind of thing you'll see quite often. Always hanging around with a loose ball on the edge of the box. Always prepared to have a go. That's Davis. Good ball by Davis to Robson. Not sure what a wonderful header this player is. Yates to Hughes. John Eiley for Newcastle and neither team really has settled down too well there's no real pattern or cohesive build up going on at all they seem to find a bit of difficulty with, with the pace of this pitch which is in wonderful condition incidentally now Hunt for Liverpool clearly obstructed by Eiley but the referee let it go Moncur onto Robson Moncur Davis back to Robson. Davis penalised. He was offside, in fact, he made a lot of ground to move back to get that ball. And Peter Thompson. This is Hunt. The 
World Cup front runner for Sir Alf Ramsey. They're not trying to find Callaghan. So 50 minutes gone, fair amount of action, most of it at the Liverpool end in terms of chances. Newcastle hit the post, remember, but so far there's no score. Now Bennett. Scott. To Robson. Clark. Scott brought down, it must be a free kick. No, the referee let that one go. And this time he's blown up. And it's a free kick to Liverpool. I didn't like that very much. Good ball there to win, but the flag's up for offside against Hunt. It's one for Bennett to chase. Good through ball for Marley. Oh, Gordon Marshall trying to get every yard he can. Lawler for Liverpool to Callaghan. Played just a little bit scrappy at the moment. Neither team can really get a grip on it. And they both, both sides are making uh, small technical mistakes in control. And that's where the attacks are breaking down. 